it was a, a Welsh team to be passionate, well organised with with Warren Gatlin at the helm there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just the question marks on on some of the positions in terms of, like you think of the characters that have left that Welsh team in recent mm. times, Alwyn Jones, Tipperick and Dan Bigger, like Dan Bigger, a world-class player. It's going to take, you know, they've got a few injuries in that 10 position as well. So it'll be a tough one for Wales, 100%, but, uh, you know, they, they're, you know they're, they're written off more times than not and they always come with big performances and, and I'm sure Gatland, as, as Fiona said, will have them right come towards the, the, the end of the Six Nations even. On that, what do you think Andy Farrell will be watching as he's, as he's getting them over the next two weeks? Yeah, I think, look, I think after the game today, Ireland, defensive uh, breakdown-wise, I think they were really got at at times. So Wales, especially I saw against England, are going after that breakdown and trying to slow things down. So I think Andy Farrell will probably try and tighten that up. I think the connections were off and clean outs and we lost a couple of balls. So that's an area we know Wales are going to attack. And as I spoke at line-out time, they have been superb in disrupting our, in disrupting English line-out and the same the week before. So I think Ireland will be looking at that. We've had a very good line-out so far in the competition, but Wales will be coming to town to have a look at that.